Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and today we'll be learning how to make enemy AI using uh, Unity with the help of PlayMaker, and the enemy will shoot back at you. So I will continue my previous FPS controller system. So if you haven't seen that video yet, then go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see that video first. So let's get started. So first thing what you need to do is you need to add this uh, kind of sphere thing. So if you have seen my previous video, we have added this uh, target tag to that, and it's called target, and yeah, that that thing. So let me just do that. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna just go to the enemy, add an empty, and we will call it. Um, arm pivot all right and this will be the point uh, through which or, or on which the arm of the target will rotate okay and in the arm pivot we want to add a cube and we will call this cube to be um, the arm arm of the uh, target so let's just make it look like an arm kind of like that and let's see where the uh, pivot is so it's over here um, yeah there we go so this will be the arm let's just give it the material and now you can see that when I go to the pivot and rotate it it will rotate like this and it indeed looks kind of like arm and that's good for me now in the arm what I'm going to do is yeah, I want to just go and drag and drop the gun in here set the rotation to minus 90 and drag it up like this shorten a bit and yeah there we go great now what I'm gonna do is I wanna just go ahead and drag the pistol inside of the arm so that when we look around the pistol also moves like the arm okay now in the pistol what we wanna do is we wanna just go ahead and add the FSM edit and oh, we want the enemy to shoot at us after some time um, it will be a loop kind of a loop so let's just say wait and we want the enemy to shoot towards us after uh, every two seconds let's just say we can also change that afterwards and uh, after two seconds we want to go uh, say fire let's click that and here in here what we want to do is you want to create an object the spawn point and the spawn object so let's just do that in the uh, pistol what we can do is we want to just go ahead and add an empty we will call this empty um, spawn point okay and just position it up to the muzzle so this will be the position where the bullet will be spawned and this is the same what we did in uh, our in our gun and that says drag and drop the spawn point to the spawn point and we want a bullet to which the which will be spawned at the spawn point but we don't want this player bullet to be that we want to just duplicate this same bullet and I want to rename it to bullet uh, enemy so this will be the enemy bullet and this will be the player's bullet and let me just change the material of this how can I do that hmm. I don't know yeah there we go yes okay now let's just go to the bullet enemy and change something and in here what you want to do is you want to just change the tag from target to player and that's the only thing what you want to do 
and inside of player we want to set the player's tag to the player okay make sure to do that and let's just come back to the pistol and drag and drop the bullet enemy to the uh, game object so that it works properly and now what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and say next frame event and we want to say finished and just do this finish to finish and yeah let's see what happens now if you play so as you can see he shoots and shoots and shoots and if we come oh it's play one no camera rendering okay so there's a problem so what the problem say is that um, let's just go to the bullet enemy so here as you can see when it says kill it destroys the object which is the player itself so when it it's destroyed the game will stop or whatever it says so what we want is instead of destroying us we want to restart restart level so we want to do that and make sure you drag this restart level up because um, bef without doing that it will destroy the uh, bullet first which is destroy itself so when the bullet will be destroyed this action will not be executed at all so just drag and drop that up and we actually don't need this but yeah to make sure that it works so yeah it, it's it's good hmm so restart level and now what we're gonna do is we want to go to the build settings and uh, just click this guy so it will work and one thing okay let's just play and you will see it by yourself okay they shoot and yeah now the level restarts but you can see the lighting is affected by that so I was trying to do that but I thought that I should show it to you first and that then we will solve this problem so what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and untick this auto and say generate lighting and that will solve everything for you so when you play you can see and uh, that when you hit it restarts and the lighting is not affected at all so this is how you make it but as you can see <laughs> the enemy is not actually aiming at you or doing anything it's not even following you it's there shooting at no one so we don't need to do that we don't want that so what we want is we want the enemy to follow us and if we want the enemy also to um, aim at us so how we can do that we can do that by just going to the enemy uh, arm pivot adding an FSM there and we want to say smooth look at direction or look at yeah look at smooth look at game object target object will be the player drag and drop the player over here target position speed should be a little faster let's just say 15 debug tolerance keep vertical no uncheck that and set the speed to little higher number we don't want to finish that and let's see now what happens so when we play what's happening uh, let's just pause the game and now again play the game okay it's it's <laughs> it's opposite to that let's just go to the arm and uh, what is it minus 190 I guess or 180 180 position it up like this I guess this will work and let's just go ahead and rotate our um, aim pivot our arm pivot to minus 180 and let's see now does that works or not so as you can see it's following us it's always aiming at us 
and yeah it's pretty fast okay oh <laughs> okay yeah that that's good I like it it's aiming at okay it's aiming at us and when we stop it will hit us okay that's uh, I'm pretty happy with that but as you can see the actual target is uh, pretty static and we don't want that we want the target to follow us so how we can do that okay now what we can do is we can just go ahead and say another FSM into the enemy and we want to say uh, what we want to say uh, I guess it should be nav mesh okay nav uh, yeah we have to download the nav mesh plugin okay so uh, it's called playmaker path finding and the link will be in the description and just download that double click that and it, this window will pop up you have to say import and it won't take that much time okay uh, oh yeah I made a backup go ahead Hmm. So using this plugin, we can actually make the um, the target move or follow us without, uh, and it will detect these obstacles and all that stuff. So it's it's imported, and um, when you come back and say, map, and there you will see uh, nav mesh, and nav mesh isn't. Um, actions so in the nav mesh agent what we want to do is you want to say set agent destination as game object double click that and it will throw an error so just click that and you will see that it adds the nav mesh agent uh, component over here and the game object destination what we want to the um, enemy to follow is the player so let's just drag and drop that and it won't work there you can see it's not working and it throws an error over here so set agent destination going on going in the next generation and has been placed on a nav mesh and that's because the scene is not baked and mm, it does not uh, know that whether or not these um, these things are static or not so let's just uh, select all of the uh, things except the player so all of this map and let's just tick this static okay and now when we go, uh, go to navigation if you don't see this window over here let's go to window and where is it where is it, where is it? navigation navigation and let's just go to bake and bake and as you can see this blue thing is baked over here which tells us that uh, this is the area where the this guy will follow us now let's see does that works it sure does so the target is actually following us and it detects this um, uh, what's called this obstacle kind of thing and the, the speed of the target is pretty fast so let me just decrease it by just going to the enemy inspector and here you can adjust all of the speed that's just the, uh, set the speed to one for now <laughs> because it's pretty fast and yeah that's it when we play now you can see that uh, it follows us it shoots us and it aims us and that's the full AI enemy oh <laughs> it shoots me uh, the bullet speed is too uh, too much let's just kill that <laughs> okay so if you haven't seen the previous videos yet, just go ahead and click the link in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests or any suggestions, then go ahead and leave them in comments. I will surely reply to them if I can, if I'm not that busy. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. But don't forget to subscribe. Peace.